Shortly after WrestleMania 37, WWE aired a WWE 24 documentary on The Miz. This was an anticipated episode since The Miz has become a beloved figure amongst wrestling fans in recent years. One of the talked about aspects of this documentary saw Miz tell a story about the time he was kicked out of the WWE locker room for good. Miz never referred to the person responsible for kicking him to the curb by name. However, it is a little known wrestling tale that it was indeed Chris Benoit who infamously had Miz's locker room privileges revoked. Although it was the Miz's documentary that brought this story to the attention of the masses, this was not the first time the story had been told. The Miz has told it in many an interview. Here is the Miz recalling the event during an appearance on Talk is Jericho. The little kid going, at the news in the rest, the little kid going, I think the Miz is in there. I'm like, this is, this is, this is the lowest of the lows. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, it was probably a trial by fire that they, they wanted to, because I wasn't there at the time, but I remember hearing about that. So here is the full version for those who do not know. In roughly 2006, maybe 2007, a young Mike Mazanin was sitting in the WWE locker room enjoying a lovely meal consisting of chicken. Nothing particularly unusual about this, aside from the fact that it's not proper locker room etiquette to eat in the locker room. Maybe nobody told Miz this in Becoming a Wrestler 101 or something. On top of that, he was eating the chicken over referee Scott Armstrong's bag. Armstrong confronted the Miz over the situation, stating something along the lines of, quote, you're eating that over my bag. And the Miz profusely apologized. He was like, no, I swear to God, I'm not. Now picture this. Picture what we're seeing. Put this in your head. The Miz in 2006 is like three years removed from reality TV. Yeah, then he does Tough Enough, another reality show in WWE. Now he's sitting in the locker room eating chicken over a referee's bag, one of the most respected members of the locker room. Now, Chris Wall, who's standing by, he overhears this incident and he starts screaming at The Miz. You can only imagine what a guy like Chris Wall was thinking. Keep in mind, this is a guy who spent years upon years wrestling in Japan and other indies all over the world just to make it to the WWE, to make it to the stage that he's on. Now he's face to face with a reality TV star eating chicken over referee Scott Armstrong's bag. Thankfully, Chris, he did not go into full rage. I'm sure if he had started beating up this reality TV star, the rest of the locker room they wouldn't have minded, let's be honest. I mean, they're going to be like, oh yeah, it's the Miz getting beat up. Okay, he probably deserved it. Miz was not exactly popular backstage with the other wrestlers, if you listen to the recounts of his peers, to when talking about the Miz during this time. At first, Benoit goes to let Miz off easy and bans him for the day from the locker room. And then according to Miz, in his own words, Chris yelled at him worse than anyone has ever yelled at him in his entire life. The next day... Chris extended the ban to be during live events, and this is again according to Miz's recount. Miz could change in the locker room during Raw and SmackDown tapings, but then maybe a day or two later, Benoit kicked the Miz out of the locker room for good. During the time in which Miz was banned, he was seen using public restrooms at arenas, the same restrooms that fans would use, and he retold a story of when a kid was like, oh my god, I think that's the Miz in there. And this is such a weird topic to talk about because it's the elephant in the room. It's Chris Benoit. Nobody likes talking about Chris Benoit, but he shares these stories in so many interviews. Man, I just couldn't even imagine how embarrassing it would be to be a professional wrestler or a professional anything. And you have to share a bathroom or the concession stand or whatever with patrons, with spectators that pay to see you. People with like his t-shirt on are going up to him in the bathroom and be like, hey, are you the Miz? It's just, I mean, it's, it's humbling, I would say the least. I respect the Miz for talking about it to this day and not being ashamed of it and just realizing that, look, this is part of my journey. Every wrestler has difficulties in their journey. No one person's singular journey is the same as another person. Everyone takes different paths to get where they are. And I'm glad that Miz acknowledges that. He doesn't try to erase it from his history. Could take a route and just pretend like that didn't happen. But good on him for not doing it. 
So the tale wraps up with Miz wrestling The Undertaker at a SmackDown. Now, this is after Benoit had passed away. So the old rule was whoever banned you from the locker room is the only one that can uplift the rule. Well, they were in a bit of a gray area, considering the obvious Benoit is no longer around. So after Miz wrestles Undertaker on a match, after the match, the Undertaker sees the Miz changing in the hallway or changing in a bathroom or something. And he's like, hey, why aren't you changing with us? One, that goes to show you how little nobody paid attention to the Miz back then. Undertaker didn't even notice that he was changing in hallways and bathrooms for like nearly a year. And he asked Miz the story. Miz tells him the story. And boom, the band gets uplifted. Miz is allowed to change in the locker room now. And that's been the video. For those of you who enjoy, please leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. I guess I'll do a little house cleaning here at the end. This is kind of the general direction that my channel is going to go in in the future. I just I don't want to do raw and smackdown reviews or pay-per-view reviews. It's a bit tiring. I like doing these journalistic, research heavy, informative videos. If you like these, let me know. If you don't like them and you want to see me do reviews or you want to see me do something else, let me know in the comments too what kind of videos you would like to see me do. I'm going to sprinkle in some gaming videos here and there. Once WWE 2K22 comes around and the AEW game comes around, we're going to move forward. We're going to do some more stuff from here and there. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace.